Hello, my name is Scott for SB Gaming, and welcome back to Transport Fever, Train Fever, Industrialist, and off screen, I spent a bit of time cleaning up Minchin Hampton. I decided to route the oil train through here rather than bring it over onto this side. Just uh, riding along the side over here and then <laughs> right past all these uh, buildings. River bridge, indeed. <laughs> it's a bridge that follows the river. And it comes through here, connects on, gets back up to the refinery. This bridge comes up a little bit lower and uh, comes right in. So that's a little bit cleaner and a little bit smoother. So how about that? Over here in Minchinhampton, we have demand for 372 goods. We got five sitting here and we are sitting at a, not that, we are sitting at a supply of 36%. It could very well be possible that we ramp up the quantity of goods here and we achieve the commerce provider. I did tear out a bunch of residential in here because yeah, the commercial was just growing out past the city and that was just bringing up the demand. But of course our industries do not see any demand that's not within the range of the stations. So in order to get this bump up to 60%, we obviously need to get rid of some of the buildings that are not being covered just because then that is demand we can't satisfy and it just makes it harder because this percent has to be higher overall. So yeah, about that. And uh, we have commercial growing in here. You know what, if it's going to grow within this area, I don't mind it. This was up to 95% or 95 supply, 95 demand, so. 47%, 94%, and 22%. It is the middle of June. We have our goods train. If we take a look over here, we got 20 more units of goods. We got keep production high to upgrade in two months. We have no planks. We have 21 steel. That was our steel train. And so let's come over here. This has upgraded, that is nice. So what we want to do, we are going to want to bump up the quantity of coal. And we are going to replacement. We're gonna pause it. Alco HH 600. And we are going to want to go up to, uh, where is the gondolas? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Replace now. We don't really need that kind of capacity. That is 70 capacity. That's three trips. But we want to keep this as supplied as possible. We got lots of construction materials here. And we might just need, you are waiting for a free path. Let me guess, I never put any signals. Yeah, I keep forgetting to. All right about that. So we are going to want to that and yes now the question is Kelne Conmat we have three trains oh bother uh, yep all right about that And we are going to force this. Yes. Yeah. 
and you, you're waiting for a free path as well. Why are you waiting for... F I'm guessing it was originally meant to go on the other side. And it likewise has no signals. Alright, about that. Let's just signal this up. We're going to signal that up. Signal there, signal there, signal there, and there. Alright, we are going to want signal there and signal there. Uh, we got signals there, but we might as well we might as well throw one here. And we are gonna throw one right about here. Let's throw one right there, one right there. And so how are we doing over here in Minchin Hampton? 25%, that's bumped up to 89. Demand, which is rather unfortunate. We have four going via Haywood Freight. You got 10%. And the other place they would be going to is Melton, 1% there. Yeah, we need a lot of goods. We have 55% there. Yeah, I might want to set up the TFM. We've got lots of construction materials here. But that's because the trains were not moving. Alright, we have that there. Where's those getting picked up from? Oh wow, we got lots of logs here. And on this line, what do we have for vehicles? All right, first of all, we are going to Alco HH. This leaves me in 1976, so that's going to be unfortunate. Although with that said, something else should pop up uh, we are going to go with five, six, seven, nine, ten. We're going to replace now five point six nine million dollars, and we are going to buy a train, Alco HH six hundred. I've made very good use of this train in this series. three six nine yep uh, Burton planks are you you kind of no path oh seriously How did you know path? Oh. All right, well, you go on to Burton Planks. And then we are going to want to flip you around and go back on to Burton Steel.
Wow. And we have the Toronto PCC A7, the Mercedes Benz, and the Nohab AA16. What is the Nohab? It has no Habs. By trains. It is a diesel electric locomotive. This diesel electric locomotive was a European variant of the American F series from GM. 120 kilometers an hour, 108 tons, 1450 kilowatts of power, 200 tractive effort. Hmm. 3.6564 million dollars. Hmm. I am tempted to go up to the big boys. We have 1.07 billion dollars in the bank. Uh, the only thing is the extra speed of the big boy might cause some issues since things are balanced for what we're running right now uh, we could run the I think the big boy leaves in 1994 so we have time if we want to all right over here we have production of 34 it has steel and planks. Although with that said, yeah, we're... Let's do a replace out. And we are going to want to go up to nine, 10. We're going to do a replace now. Yes, because yet yeah, we got a ton of logs sitting here. By trains, we're going to go Alco PA, or not PA, HH 600, 10, set line, uh, mentioned Hampton Lumber. All right, are there any other lines I've not set up signals for? Nope. All right. We're good. Lots of logs sitting there. How are we doing here in Calnay? 31%, 90%. Minchin Hampton, 27%, 87 and 45 we may want to tweak up the quantities of our uh, Minchin Hampton Melton line. 12 and 6. Currently running a 190. Twelve and six, that's seven capacity each, which is ninety-four and However much that is. This runs us five million per vehicle. Big boy, eleven point six million per vehicle. Um, hmm. We'll want to go up to the box car. Although with that said, we got the Verbans wagon, eight capacity, eight capacity to 12 capacity. This is two thirds the capacity, 11 tons versus, ooh, that's a, Nope. Mm, it's a 
yeah, this these are slightly heavier. Two, three, and these are twelve capacity. I'm currently running twelve of these. Twelve of these, which have seven capacity. If I run seven of these, it'll be the exact same capacity. Four, five, six, seven. Let's add two more. And then for the tank wagons, we are currently running these seven capacity, six of them, which is 42 units. So if we go up to these ones, 120 km an hour top speed, 12, we're run. Uh, 42 capacity, so that's four of these. Three, four. Let's go up to five capacity, 200. Let's go for it. 62, 69.2 million dollars. Let's follow this train. One thing I could have done, and we have the gondola and New Haven EP5. First ever big boy. There we go. Let's see what kind of speed it gets up to. About 90 kilometers an hour. Leaving that station at 50 kilometers an hour. Definitely has the power and tractive effort. The only problem is if we're running. I didn't check the speed it got up to. Unfortunately, we are running. That's empty. Most of that is empty. All that's empty. Who knows? This could work out better for us. Take a look at the finances. <laughs> this is what we had been running, and now this is what we are running. 
80 kilometers an hour. Who knows, it could work out for us. We have more money than we can uh, handle, so that's a thing. Mention Hampton, how are you doing? 35%, 91%, 31 percent What I might do on this line So this is, yeah, let's pull that and we want to go big boy. We want, um, not, not that box car, this one, one, two, three, four, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's 120, 158 meters. Two, three, four, five, six. Twenty point eight million dollars. Replace out seventy one point eight. Could even do the same with our fuel line. Yeah, this line here. We might want to. That's the thing. Uh, these two lines. Uh, which one is it? Haywood to Broughton, yeah, they're being replaced out with the big boys. So they share a line up to here. They also share that line up from there to there. But otherwise they are separated. You know what? Yep, we're going to do it as well. Mission Hampton Fuel. We are going to go up to the big boy and we are going to go with these tank cars. One, two, three. We were running TF Mission Hampton Oil and Fuel 12. So we would just need seven of them. Five, six, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's go up to 20.8 million per vehicle. 156 million, sure, why not? That line's making me $20 million. Was it 12? Yeah, 23.3 million. Hundred and ninety-two units of crude oil. That is going to drain the quantity of crude oil. We're down under a billion dollars, and we have eighty-seven percent, fifty percent, and twenty-three percent. Let's check our steel. Thirty one of thirty five. Yeah, we need more steel production. We got lots of coal and lots of iron. 
and that has upgraded nice Here's a question. Higher frequency. Uh, we want to go with these. We're going to designate steel. Two, three, four, and five. We are going to go replace now. Although I don't think we really need the capacity since, yeah, 70 capacity is not uh, what we can handle at the moment. What we do need, though, is more vehicles. Well, we'll be losing some money. And we want one, two, three, four, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we're going to assign it to Burton Steel. Oh, wait a minute. Nope, nope. Bother. Uh, Minchinhampton Steel. And mention Hampton Steel. Yep, about that. Is one of our big boys. All right. Now, how many goods do we have lying around? Not a whole lot on the left side of the map. We got lots of coal sitting here. Wow. On the coal slag line. Let's do a replace out. Um, we want increased capacity. Four, let's go five, replace now. $23.7 million. Uh, you are waiting for who? You're waiting for you. You are, oh wow. What do we have flowing through here? We have two lines going up that way. One going that way. Two going that way. Sixteen kilometers per hour. Oh wow. Is that is happening here? 
the class of V100 and the AMD GP9. Uh, the AMD GP9. What is that? That is a... Hundred and five kilometer an hour, thirteen hundred, two hundred and eighty eight tractive effort. Three point two two million dollars. All right. Um, yeah, I think I've overloaded my Let's put a signal bit there. It is entirely possible that it could get up to a faster speed if it didn't have to stop. 41, 40, 39, whoa, it's losing speed. 27, 26, 5, 24. Yeah, at this point I'd have to be double heading these. Although with that said, what we can do is just replace this out. And we go with the big boy. And we go with these boxcars. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fifteen. Replace now. Eighty-nine point nine million dollars. And over here. Only grabbing 36 food because everything else is going for Haywood to Waltham. Let's hop back over here. yet we don't really need the capacity mention Hampton 25% tools 91% for food and 30 36% oh, for goods we're up to 102 demand ouch yeah I really do not want the demand to really crank up that high and we have buildings outside of the range of our station which is a no-go what I'm going to have to do is clear some space for our commercial to grow And the GM fishbowl is available. And we're back up to 97. Wow, we got a lot of goods sitting here. Mentioned Hampton to Melton. Well, Melton could be the go-to place to get supplied up with maybe. We have 52%, 78%, and 8%. And this is partially why I haven't really ramped up the the passenger travel, just because Minchin Hampton is growing, the demand is rising, which of course means that we need to supply even more there. Oh, we got lots of goods sitting here. So something happened. Melton is definitely an easier place to try to supply. Although that said, we have to get goods from over this side of the map, over there. 
that's upgraded to 400 that's good we got 40 steel and we got some planks that is nice now we need to upgrade this and we might need to add another actually we are going to need to add another train now um for shunting service We're running five right now let's run two three four five I'm going to actually we could go with the EMD GP9 how does that actually compare uh, 1300 288 a lot more power yeah let's do it EMD GP9 we're gonna get rid of that oh bother EMD GP9, we want the boxcar and we want to just force it to supply goods. Alright, so 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Replace now, 5.33 million. We are going to buy another EMD GP9. And we are going to run, actually, we kind of want to run these ones because that's capped at 80 kilometers an hour. The MD is a one oh, yep, uh, bother. All right, goods. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's 120. Let's assign this to Minchin Hampton Goods. And this is going to replace out, but uh, we are going to do another replace. Need the higher capacity. Three, four, five, six, ten. Did I go twelve? How many is on here? No, I went ten. Oh bother. Goods. Two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. Replace now. Oh. Is that all right? That's right, I had signals before. All right, so we're going to have just two trains run back and forth. And Minchin Hampton is up to 49% supplied. 102. Oh, jeez. Hey. Yeah, yeah. Just makes it harder to supply. What I might do is discontinue my uh, passenger service. <laughs> uh, we're up to 70% for tools, 91% for food. If we can get some more. There we go, commerce provider. Reach at least 60% coverage for every commercial good in a town. Yep. 62% supplied for tools, 85% for food, 62% for goods. And we did it in Minchin Hampton. Of course, with that said, the goods factory was just right over here. So, yeah. Well, 
that effectively is the series complete because I just have to wait until the year 2000. <laughs> we got industry provider, commerce provider, and I also got industrialist. Three achievements I have been struggling to get previously. Now we got them. Now it's just a matter of train fever. Reach the year 2000 using only trains. But what fun would that be if I just ended the series now or just jumped cut and let things roll until 2000 and say, hey, I got the train fever achievement. Nope, we are going to just connect up the rest of the map. We are going to definitely do the passenger travel. We are going to do all the other stuff. But it is nice to get those achievements finally. Yes, technically there are some mods. Yes, technically... I have some vehicles that I shouldn't have. <laughs> but, you know, getting 6% of all the various goods at the same time, that is a bit of a challenge, and I figured industrialists wouldn't be a problem. Small map, not many industries. Anyway, at this point in time, I'd like to say thank you for joining me for this episode of Transport Fever, Train Fever Industrialist. Thank you for watching. My name is Scott Frisbee Gaming, and as always, have a good day.